in the Tesla Model 3 Highland Performance. It's Christmas Eve and I just got Tesla software update 2025.45.5 and this includes FSD supervised 14 0.2.2. Now this release has some refinement and arrival options. Na the navigation pin will be adjusted based on the selection arrival option. Let's check that out. Okay, so I noticed that if I change the arrival options from say curbside to park, that recalculates the route. Now, I didn't see that the destination pin is any different. But let's see as it gets closer. I'm gonna also see if I can get FSD to park the Tesla in the open garage when I arrive so back I adjusted home. my my Q settings to open the door when it's 100 feet away. So hopefully it sees the doors open by the time it pulls into the driveway. Okay, so I'm starting off in standard Park at destination and parking lot. Now turn right onto Smith Street. Hopefully there's not much traffic today. It's Christmas Eve. People rushing around to get last minute gifts, maybe. In 500 feet, turn left onto Walnut Avenue. Now turn left onto Walnut Avenue. Smooth turn as always. This is a pretty rough road. We've had a lot of wind, so there might be, might be some debris in the road. You can see how it avoids that. I also saw in the release notes that it's going to slow down in appropriate areas. So right now I'm in standard. It's doing about four miles an hour over. In 500 feet, turn right onto Main Street. Now turn right onto Main Street. It's slowing down for this pedestrian a stop at the line now it's pulling out to look okay this person was edging out in front of me Full stop. Okay, we're coming up on a four-way.
Everyone's in a hurry today. Okay, we're approaching the destination. Let me switch from parking lot to curbside real quick and see if that pin changes any. Looks the same. I'm gonna go back to parking lot. Now, when I've arrived at this destination before, it pulls forward and in parks feet, turn right onto Sears Park. facing the lake. Let's see what it does. Now turn right onto Sears Park. Okay, we got a pedestrian coming. Now your destination is on the left. Okay, it's going to do the same behavior now. There's a handicap spot to the left. Let's see if it avoids that. Yeah, it's actually parking right in the middle. Perfect. That's it. All right, now we're going to head back home. I set it to driveway park. There is no garage setting yet, but I've seen some people have gotten it to park in the garage. So let's start self-driving. Nice and slow navigating now the parking lot. Onto North Main Street. Okay, we're coming up to a red light. Let's see which way it goes. Looks like we're going back the way we came. Pretty cool. This guy's jaywalking and it's showing it. Green light. Going pretty natural speed here. I think it's observing traffic. If I went too slow, I'd be getting run off the road.
Okay, we got a four-way stop here. People don't always stop. Let's see how it handles this. This guy just did a U-turn. Okay. Oh, it's taking a different route. Interesting. Now there's some potholes in the road opening up because of the cold and it's not really avoiding them. I haven't hit any really either, but I don't see it trying to dodge them like I probably would. In 500 feet, turn left onto Edgerton Street. Now turn left onto Edgerton Street. Okay, we got a mail vehicle. Carefully passes. Now I'm hoping that the garage door will open soon enough when it's set to 100 feet that by the time I pull in, it's going to be open and I'll try to park in the garage. There's no way to force it to do that, but let's see if it tries. And it's 500 feet, turn left onto Smith Street. And it's interesting, every time that I've arrived home, it's parked nose first. It hasn't tried backing in. Okay, no traffic. In 500 feet, turn right onto Royal Oaks Avenue, then turn right onto Joseph Court. Now turn right onto Royal Oaks Avenue. Now turn right onto Joseph Court. Now your destination is on the right. Oh, it's backing in. Let's see what happens. It's got a clear line to that parking spot. I think it's going for it. Nope. That's as close as we got on this try. Okay, let's give it another chance. This time the garage door is open now when it arrives. Now your destination is on the right. Okay, it's going to back in again. Interesting. Thinking about it. There it goes. Nope. Yep. Okay. She's going in. Take over immediately. Okay, in that second attempt, I did get a warning to clear. 
debris from the camera. So they go FSD supervised 14.2.2. So the arrive at destination options have definitely changed. Every other time I've tried it, it's just pulled forward into my driveway and parked either on one side so or the other. Now with 14.2.2, it seems to want to back into the driveway. Let me know in the comments below if you're noticing the same thing. And it was definitely going to try to go into the garage. I think it's a little tight for and it. It has just rained, so the cameras may be a little dirty, but they're really not Remember, too bad. Remember, like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.